Hi, Hunter Crone, Forest Test with the Lakefront Group. And we're here to talk about fill property. Um, that is a big term up at the Highland Lakes, especially LBJ and Forrest is our uh, Highland Lakes expert, actually has a place on LBJ. So what is fill property or fill area? Yeah, it's something that's a huge point of contention for a lot of people. And for some people that don't have it on their property, they don't know that it exists and it might not be an issue, but it doesn't become a problem until someone finds out that it exists. So what it is, is it's the area between maybe the original platted property line and the current property line, or maybe a current bulkhead that's not actually the property line, but people think that it is. So what may have happened is, let's just use this for an example. Oh yeah, show me. Let's say that there, the original platted line used to be right here, and then a flood came through, or maybe there was a bad survey, or anything could have happened, but some of this land gets built up, and the bulkhead actually gets built way out here. So, so I'm the property line right here. Yep, and then I'm the new bulkhead, maybe the perceived property line, and you've got all of this area that, whose property is it? Is it part of the lake? Is it part of the homeowners? It looks like it's part of the homeowners, but it might not actually be. So what happens is you have this question mark of land that LCRA, which is the governing body, says, hey, this isn't actually your property. We're supposed to own this. It's supposed to be a part of the lake. But then the property owner is saying, it looks like it's my land. It's got my grass growing on it. So you've got this big question mark. And what typically happens is LCRA can say, look, you can buy this land from us technically. We'll officially move the property line out there. And then everything's cleared up, good to go. Doesn't really make a difference. Also, sometimes LCRA doesn't care to sell it. And LCRA has gone on record saying, we're not gonna do anything with that land. If that's kind of the perceived property line now, Technically, yes, we still own that big gray area, but we're not gonna do anything with it. Keep it the way it is, because it would be more of a hassle than anything, um, as long as the property owner is okay knowing there's that gray area of land there. So, so LCRA is not the only one that owns a lot of fill area, correct? LCRA is the majority, but yes, yeah, sometimes it could be another property owner or a different governing body, yes. Yeah, so it's good to know that you actually own the waterfront that you're purchasing which is why it's good to have an expert that actually checks that out. That's one of the biggest criteria that you do for your buyers, correct? Yep, exactly. We go through the whole process for our buyers and hold their hand every step of the way. Um, and also for our sellers too, we make sure that they do actually own that property and we just wanna make sure everybody knows what's going on in the transaction. Yeah, yeah. I've heard those horror stories of somebody knocking on the door of somebody that, that's recently bought a property and says, hey, uh, you don't own your waterfront where your boathouse is. And if you want to keep that, you need to buy it from me. That is not a fun conversation that you wanna have and uh, we're here to make sure that that conversation never happens for our buyers or sellers. Yep, the, the downside is very scary. We're talking about potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of a mistake that could have never been a mistake in the first place. It could have been avoided by looking into it and making sure that everything was, was in place. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Forrest, for uh, explaining that, and uh, you have a wonderful day. Thanks, y'all. If you're looking for a lake house, give us a call. <laughs>